Hey everybody, welcome to the Soap Thing Project, or if you've been here before, welcome back. I want to thank everybody for joining me today. So I have an important announcement to make about the future of the project. Some of you already know what I'm about to say, but for those who don't, it's time to break the news. So I have been active duty United States Air Force for the past 11 years and counting. For about the past four and a half years, I've been stationed at Scott Air Force Base on the Illinois side of Metro St. Louis. And in January, I got notified that I was going to be reassigned. I'm going to Inserlik Air Base in Turkey the beginning of the third week of May. So what does that mean for the Soap Thing Project? Well, I'm going to be stationed at Inserlik Air Base for 12 months from May 2022 until June 2023. And I can only take whatever I can carry in three duffel bags. That's all my shaving gear, that's my clothes, that's all my personal effects, that's everything. I suppose I could ship my collection over to Inserlik as household goods using the travel management office, but that's frankly more trouble than it's worth. So I spent a while just chewing over what am I going to do because I've invested too much time, energy, and frankly money into the soap thing project and so I can't just cut and walk away. I mean, I suppose I could, but that'd be kind of a waste. So I decided to treat it kind of like I'm going to a deserted island and I can only take so much stuff with me. So I have my iPhone cheat sheet right here and we're going to talk about all the hardware and software I'm gonna bring with me. So let's just start directly from the top. I'm gonna to take 12 shaving soap and aftershave combinations with me, one for each month of the year, from June 2022 till May 2023. And those are going to be the chosen ones, is what I'm gonna call them. So if you are one of the 12 artisans that I had decided to bring with me, you should be pretty proud of yourself, because this was a tough, Tough racking and stacking to put all this together. Next we have four razors, four shaving brushes, two pre-shaves, and two fragrances. And blades take up almost no space, so I have a wide variety of blades that I'm taking with me. And that's it. That's the content I'm going to have for the next 12 months. So the frequency of videos is going to slow from two to three videos a week down to about one to two videos a month. I'm not proud of that, but that's just how it's going to have to go. So all the shaving gear, hardware and software, is going to go into these little used plastic bags that you will tend to get when you order shaving soaps and aftershaves from the Razor Company. I've been saving these every time I make a purchase, and so we're going to put a shaving soap slash aftershave into one of these. And then a bunch of them will go into these Guggen Squad uh, watertight bags. And these are darn near bulletproof. So it'll protect the uh, hardware and software that I'm taking with me pretty well. So that's how that's going to work. I'm sure people are going to have questions and I'll answer them as I get them. In the meantime, let's talk about the shave we're going to do today. We're going to use Angora Soaps Olympus. And this is supposed to be inspired by the Mediterranean coast in Turkey. And Inserlik Air Base is near Adana, which is very near the Mediterranean coast. So I figured it was just fitting to do this. I mean, it just made perfect sense. Angora soaps go for $16 for 4.5 ounces. All their soaps have beef tallow, shea butter, kokum butter, glycerin, lanolin, and jojoba oil. Let's smell this. So this soap is really bright citrusy, bright florals, and it's musky. It's really, really phenomenal stuff, I think. You have to really like bright, bright florals and really sweet citrus notes in order for this to resonate with you, but I kind of like it. It's got neroli, lemon, citrus, white florals, jasmine, cedar, amber, and musk. So that'll be the soap, it is Angora Soaps Olympus. 
Then we have the matching aftershave that we're gonna to use today. And it's been quite a while since I've seen a crystal clear aftershave in a crystal clear bottle. Normally uh, artisans don't do that, but Angora Soaps done did it. So isn't that fascinating? Now the razor, we're just gonna keep using the Blackland Saber. I've been getting good shaves with it, so we're gonna use it on again, off again, until I don't. The Blackland Saber looks exactly like this. It's made in 303 stainless steel here in the USA. And I got mine used for a pretty good price, but normally these cost about $220 US. And the blades look exactly like this. And this one is going to be the 10th or 11th shave of this. You can use these a lot, like a lot more than you can use a uh, a double edge blade. These gem PTFE blades are pretty phenomenal. You can get some crazy amount of shaves with them. It's just nuts. The brush is going to be from AP Shave Co. And this is a beautiful kind of ocean blue snake skin kind of pour. It's really fascinating. And even the uh, coin has a snake wrapped around a brush. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's pretty cool looking. And this has a 24 millimeter G5C from Japan, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, I'm not a fan of synthetic brushes really at all, but if I must use a synthetic, this is easily the best synthetic I've ever seen. I mean, the splaying properties and the lathering properties you get out of this brush are pretty close to a Badger. I'd say this and the Omega Evo are pushing pretty close to the performance you get out of a Badger brush. So, AP Shave Co. brush. Now I'm gonna circle back to the soap for just a hot second. Here we have it spread around into the bottom of the Langley City Shave Bowl. It's been like that for about 20 minutes and it's just radiating all over the bathroom. And I have kind of a big bathroom and even still, this is, you can smell it like 12 inches away from the bowl to your face. I mean, this is just radiating scent, raging five out of five scent strength, even before you lather it. So that's that. And then why don't we chase the shave with a fragrance? Yes, I think I'm gonna do that. We're gonna use Azaro Chrome EDT, the original. And this has been around since the 1990s. Really great smelling, inexpensive if you get it at discounters. It's great stuff, I love the smell of this. This one's all rosemary, neroli, pineapple, oak moss, musk, and rosewood. So it's a really citrusy, watery, aquatic, kind of slightly metallic sort of thing. It's got that typical citrus aromatic kind of facet that you would get from a lot of scents from the 1990s. This came out in 96, I believe, but good stuff. So let's get the shave done so we can use it. Here we go.
Okay, my wife and I just got back late last night from visiting my family in Michigan for a few days. So I've got about four days growth, a pretty good justification to use a gem PTFE razor. So let's wet the face. Got a sink full of cold water. And we're just gonna use the PAA mentholated cube. Let's just do that, get some menthol cooling on the face. That should be plenty. Work it in and I can feel that that menthol kick moving in already. Feels pretty good. Okay. Now Let's put the soap on. We have the Angora Soaps Olympus lathered into the Langley City Shave Bowl. And the scent strength, like I said before, is a holy crap, five out of five. So you'll have no trouble smelling this. It will definitely screen your name. It's gonna scream everybody's name, to be honest. Yeah, definitely, definitely high scent strength. Okay, let's put it on. Four days growth. And I'm about to use a gem PTFE blade that has 10 shaves on it already. So if it's kind of tugging and dragging and kind of on its last leg, then we'll, we'll swap it out. But I think it's gonna be fine. So I have actually been stationed at Interlick Air Base before. I was there for 15 months in 2016 and 2017, so it's kind of like deja vu all over again. I'm going to the exact same base for about the exact same amount of time and doing the exact same job. So, okay. Blackland Saber <clears throat> with the uh, Gem PTFE blade in it, shave number 10 or 11. And four days of growth. Let's see what happens. Here we go. It's just a little bit tuggy. Not much. Let's talk about... Where did I put the shaving soap? Let's put it right here. Angora Soaps Olympus. So... I'm not sure that I'd call this an aquatic. It's it's definitely a bright citrus and bright floral scent. Those bright floral notes are gonna kind of remind you of Aqua de Jo. At least that's kind of what it reminds me of. It's that kind of bright floral going on. And then it's got this very distinctive colonia type neroli. This is not a colonia scent. It's um, a bit too bright for that, in my personal opinion. This is a, a much more overtly summer scent. I'm using it in spring, just kind of because it kind of fits the uh, the situation that's about to unfold in my life. Oh, so far, this is just a touch on the tuggy side, but that could be just the four days growth. Because on four, five, and six days growth, almost any razor is going to do that to me. Because I have really thick, coarse hair. It's pretty bad. Okay, let's try a pair. Ooh, wee. We'll see how pass number two goes, but right now this is kind of... Uh, A lot of hair coming off the face at once and it kind of feels <laughs> a little tuggy. Okay. The soap is providing a lot of slickness. There's definitely nothing wrong with that. Angora soaps are good to go. Oh, we should have went across the grain on that first. <laughs>
Okay. Let's do another pass. Mostly what I'm getting out of this soap is uh, a lot of neroli and florals and, and musk. There's woody notes in here. I'm not getting anything woody out of this. It would change the dynamics of the scent if it wasn't there, but if you're searching for like cedar, for example, it's in the notes list, but I'm not getting any of that hardly at all. It's definitely a really bright and uplifting scent. Like, it's hard for me to shave with this without cracking a smile because it's just so pleasant smelling. There's been a couple of other content creators out there who really didn't like it, and that just boggles my mind. I could see that if you don't like uh, floral scents, maybe. At the time I'm filming this, it's sold out, so I apologize for that, but don't sleep on Angora soaps. They're definitely, definitely good to go. See, a second pass is feeling pretty normal, so I think it was just cutting so much hair all at once that it was, it probably would have been uncomfortable with any blade. Residual slickness on this seems to be pretty good. I mean, let's try over here. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. There's a, a lot of residual slickness going on after you've already been there. I'm not getting any kind of olfactory fatigue in spite of the fact that it's very, very fragrant. Some scents will, will kind of do that. They'll give you this old factory fatigue where you'll kind of grow anosmic to it and can't smell it even though it's there. Doesn't mean it's going away, it just means your nose is adjusting to all the fragrance you're throwing at it. There's a touchy spot. My upper lip and my lower lip. Gotta be careful. Be careful, go slow, take your time. I mean, what hurry are we in? You got places to be? Because I don't. I will make time. I did buy the uh, the uh, PAA Starling, so I'm excited to try that out. I'm noticing that this blade is getting a little less efficient than it used to be, but it is not less sharp or less smooth. It's still providing a very comfortable shave. After we hacked all that four days of growth down and moved on to pass number two, it's doing perfectly fine. Okay, let's do a rinse and see what we got. Up until a couple days ago, I was still feeling the after effects of having pneumonia. I mean, going up and down stairs was just, oh my God, you couldn't breathe. And my breathing felt normal. I was just getting less air with every breath I took. It didn't feel like raspy or like there was a, an obstruction. It was just less coming in than there was supposed to. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Let's take a win. Okay, let's do the Ellen Block, the ProRazzo Ellen Block. Let's put it on, see what it has to say. No stinging feedback, so it's a good day. Here, 
a soap thing project. If the Ellen block isn't saying anything, then we're definitely good to go. Let's do the aftershave. Okay, let's do the Angora Soaps Olympus aftershave splash. Let's put it on. Now, my wife is not able to go with me to Insulic Air Base Turkey. She wasn't able to go the last time. So this is gonna be the second time I'm gonna to have to be away from my wife for a year or more at a time. That's the part that, that sucks that, we'll, that we might talk about in the future. Oh, this is so refreshing, my goodness. I don't know why this got discontinued. Maybe it'll come back here in the summer, but oh, it's just incredible smelling. It smells great. And the Azaro Chrome, is actually quite close to it in scent strength. I don't know if I'd call it a dead ringer, it's, but it's very, very close. Let's put some Azaro Chrome on, why not? This stuff smells great. It smells like a day at the beach. Oh, phenomenal. In the first couple hours, it's pushing out pretty hard. This is definitely a performance banger in the first few hours. And then once you get to hour four through eight, it turns into pretty average performance. It's no slouch, it's good stuff. And uh, it's not expensive either, it's good. Good price on that. Okay, Angora Soaps Olympus. If I exhausted this to an empty tub and it was still available, would I buy it again? Oh, absolutely, the scent on this. Oh, it's just such a pleasant summer scent. I, I suppose you could pull it off in spring, but it's it's really, really, really bright to where it might come off a little too bright for spring. It definitely fits in in summer. Anyway, I could chew over uh, what season this is good for all day long, but the point is it's a good scent. It's a very good soap. And the price is perfectly adequate. I think you're getting what you pay for. Okay, I could smell this all day, but we have to end the video, don't we? So that'll be the shave for today. Questions or comments, put them in the comments section of the video. Otherwise, do everybody a favor and shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.